first of all, uh, what is the campaign's approach to this protective pool? Why were they left hanging, and didn't that fuel all of the concerns? I mean, if you guys want to push back against the conspiracy theory, theories and all the other stuff that's been out there, which we have reported uh, is silliness, why not be as transparent as possible? Well, thank you for having me on, Andrea. Let me just briefly recap uh, what we think took place yesterday. The secretary, uh, even after having been diagnosed with pneumonia on Friday, kept her full schedule on Friday and, and was dead set on attending that 9-11 ceremony on Sunday morning. She, of course, was senator uh, when 9-11 happened, and it meant a great deal for her to be there. Uh, she stood there and took part in the ceremony for uh, a little bit over an hour, at which point uh, uh, she started to feel overheated, as we uh, described it yesterday, and uh, initially left on her own accord. Uh, I think that in retrospect, we could have handled it better in terms of uh, providing more information more quickly. As Monica mentioned, uh, uh, in those 90 minutes, we were putting a priority on making sure she was okay. I should say that as soon as she got into the vehicle, she was alert the whole time and was uh, telling staff that she was fine. Uh, she was actually making calls to aides from the car, and she ended up going to uh, her daughter Chelsea's apartment, which was uh, pretty close by in Manhattan. And uh, for the aides that were there with her, they could tell you that she was uh, seen chasing her granddaughter around the apartment at, at Chelsea's apartment uh, just uh, a few moments after leaving that ceremony site. But I do think that uh, in those 90 minutes that elapsed, we could have gotten more information out more quickly, and that's on the staff, that's on us, and we regret that. Let me ask you a couple of questions. Did she ever lose consciousness? We saw that she needed assistance. She was leaning against the security uh, pillar there, the boulard. But did she ever actually lose consciousness? No, Andrea, I don't think so. Uh, uh, I think what happened, and uh, I have no uh, basis to question the veracity of the footage that's been played, but uh, from those that were there, uh, I believe uh, what it was was she was uh, feeling hot, uh, which a lot of the other attendees described also feeling. I saw Chuck Schumer and uh, uh, Congressman Crowley also described that it was a, a very uh, hot uh, environment with all those people gathered there for the ceremony. Uh, she left on her own accord. I think that as she was getting to the vehicle, uh, she got a a bit dizzy and uh, she was helped into the vehicle but immediately upon uh, being seated there she was uh, talking to staff and like I said making calls uh, and she was up running around at her uh, daughter's apartment chasing her grandkids around and then within 90 minutes people saw her out on the sidewalk uh, as she uh, uh, exited her daughter's apartment building and then you know if it was up to her she'd be traveling to California today uh -huh. uh, but it was her doctor's advice for her to uh, change her schedule so we're gonna be down the next two days she's gonna take the opportunity to rest but again it was the staff that was really prevailing on her to uh, keep uh, her doctor's recommendation in mind and take these next two days off but even just this morning she's already been calling staff uh, she made a couple phone calls this morning uh, she is going to be dialing into that uh, finance event on the west coast later today so I expect that by the middle of, to the later the week she'll be uh, back out there on the campaign trail this is the Hillary Clinton that Americans got to know as well, Secretary of State, somebody that keeps a, a breakneck pace, uh, traveled the globe, she's indefatigable. The only person that uh, I know that might keep up as grueling a pace as her is you, Andrea. Well, I'm, I know I can't keep up with her, but the, the fact is, when she got into the car, there are Secret Service protocols, there are staff people around her. Would it not have been better to take her to a hospital and get her checked right away uh, at that point? rather than 